Yo, what's up, fam? It's Sensei, man. Um, listen, I want to talk to every single person on this planet right now. There's something going on, right? That is, uh, well, there are a few things going on that is life altering. And I'm not talking about in a positive sense. I'm talking about in the sense that is life altering, where it is going to, our lives are on the line. There's, there's an energy that's moving through the earth right now with all this politics, all the wars, all of the the crazy crap that's been taking place. Like I never knew, I never thought I would see the day where the kids in school is learning about homosexuality. I never thought I'd see the day where religion has become pop political. I never thought I'd see the day where you don't know how to address somebody, whether it's a he, she, the who, the what, the where, the when, the why. The LGBTQ. I never thought I'd see the day where motorcycle guys fight each other. For, for what? I never thought I'd see that. I thought that as we furthered ourselves in the future, things would be better. And I'm not saying that it's not to certain levels, but, but we're going backwards. People have become way more sensitive. Comedians can't joke anymore. You can't speak your mind on any of these social media platforms. This video might get flagged on YouTube. You can't say who you're voting for because if you're not voting for this person, then you ain't nobody and you are a sellout. If you choose to get the vaccine or not get the vaccine, you become a problem. If you talk against freaking Catholics or Muslims or Christians, you become a problem. If you talk against a Harley Davidson or, or a freaking victory, you become a problem. Everybody's stuck in this in this world, and I'm not gonna say everybody because some people are not. When I'm when I'm on my motorcycle, I'm seeing so many people that is completely impatient. They want it what they want when they want it because they don't have what they need at home. They don't have the control at home. They don't have the power at home. So on the road, I see I see a car cut in front of another car, and. No accidents happen, but that car would get mad and just start driving up on the other car for no reason. Why do we do that? Let me just tell you guys something, man. I got a problem with all of that stuff, man. I'm going to tell you, me, I don't care who likes me for my choices in my life. It is my life. Right now, I'm riding. I'm enjoying my time. I'm. Listen, man, life is long. They say life is short. Life is damn long. If you ain't doing what you're doing and not living your life to the fullest, then you are robbing yourself from, from, from committing to yourself. You wasn't given this body to sit down and stay stagnant. Speak your truth, man. Speak what you want to speak. Enjoy your world. Let people get mad at you. Let people get mad at you because the people who get mad at you are the ones that got their own internal problems. They're the ones who are struggling. They're the ones who is, is all twisted in the head. When you start speaking your truth, don't be afraid to speak about who you go, who you voting for. Don't fear, don't be afraid to speak about whether you believe in God or not. Don't be afraid to speak of your sexual preferences, because at the end of the day, I could care less. I don't care if you are straight, gay. I don't care if you vote for Kamala, Trump. I don't care if you're rich, poor. I don't care if you ride a Harley or not. I don't care if you got a big house or not. I don't care if you got. I don't, it doesn't matter to me because this is the life that you have. It is called your life. That called my life. I'm not going to hold you accountable for my personal feelings. As a matter of fact, it's very hard to hurt my feelings because I train myself every day to be better, to be stronger, to be more in tune and remove myself from all of the static that's happening in this world right now. A lot of men have lost their damn mind. The woman in this world, man, if I was single, I would I would just have to be, I would just have to be a, a, a man that just has a whole lot of women because they're, get, they're getting robbed. <laughs> There's no men. There's no men. I'm gonna have to talk to my wife, man. Hey, babe, listen, for every, for every female, right? For every man, there's like about 40 women, man. I think it's selfish that you're holding me for yourself. I think it's bad that you're keeping me for yourself. Look at all these women out here struggling. Because the men are disappearing. <laughs> if y'all see me come back with a black eye, you know why. <laughs> but in all seriousness, right? A lot of men nowadays, they're not men no more. A lot of men 
has become softies. Ice cream. You know, when ice cream is in the fridge, it's nice and cool. When everything is cool, ice cream is firm. But when things get a little hot, ice cream begin to melt and begin to fall apart. This is what a lot of men is nowadays, man. And a lot of guys forget that because a guy is gay, it doesn't mean that he's not a man. People think, oh, he's gay, so he's a girl. No, he's a damn man. And he will probably beat your ass if you think otherwise. These are the, Let me tell you some of the things that I refuse to do. I refuse, I refuse to call a man a woman. That's my personal preference. I don't hate nobody, but you're not gonna see me going against the God body sensor, a sensor that I've got and, and refer to a man as a she. No, you a he, you, you got a penis, okay? You, you, don't, you don't got a vagina. Even if you get it cut off, no, you got a freaking penis, so you're a man. I'm not going to call a woman a he. Nah, you're a female. I'm not going to call you a it, a they, a we, a we, a when, a who, a why. I ain't doing that. Okay? I'm just giving y'all my real talk. I grew up in a Christian home. I don't follow the Jesus that you follow. I don't get offended by it or not. I'm speaking my truth. I've been there. I've, I, I've done my research. I've done my personal studies. I follow something that is more spiritual based, not religious based. There's a lot of history that goes behind the culture of Kemet, which is ancient Egypt. There's a lot of history that goes in, a, in the symbol of the Ankh. There's a lot of history that goes in the symbolism and the ideology of my people. There's also a whole lot that goes into Serapis. If you don't know about that name, research the word Serapis. So this is the reason why I don't study the religion that, that many of you do. Does that make me a sinner? Does that make me go to hell? It's a, who you? You can't def you can't define that. It's up to the most high. Okay? Uh, political. I'm a Trump guy. Always been a Trump guy. I could care less about your politics. Your your listen, I grew up on Trump. The hip hop industry used to embrace Trump. The freaking black community used to embrace Trump. Trump did so many things. But then y'all make the media kind of twist things around. And then anybody who says I'm a Trump person, y'all want to turn your back. Turn your back, unfollow, unsubscribe. It doesn't matter to me. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Speak your truth. Speak your damn truth, all right? I don't hate gay people. I don't hate gay people. If a, if a man is gay, I can sit there and talk with him. I'm not going to dislike him because at the end of the day, listen, man, when I, was, when I was younger in Jamaica growing up, right? When I came to America, we used to be against oral sex. There was no... No female. Listen, I remember a girl tried to do that to me one time. I wanted to slap her head off her body. I wanted to slap her soul out of her freaking body. If you're from the islands, you already know what I'm talking about, man. But when that, when I finally enjoyed that thing, I felt, like, ooh, damn, that thing feel damn good, right? Heck, how am I knocking something I didn't try? What the hell? So, in Jamaica, we hate gay people, right? In Jamaica, you said Batman for that, Batman for this, Batman for that. As a matter of fact, Buju Banta make boom bye bye in a Batman Ed. And Buju had to go and make a public apology in London. Listen, I'm not gonna knock somebody for what they choose. As long as you don't bring your crap to me and try to hit on me and try to do that. And try... Listen, man, I'm not the person to do that. But I don't hate nobody because of their, their personal life. I don't. So what I was getting at when I told that story, I'm in a barbershop, me and a bunch of Jamaicans were talking. I'm like, yo, we're talking about faggots. Bataman, Mama Man, Pravi, right? And I asked them, let me ask y'all a question. What's the difference between us hating gay people and the KKK hating black people? Nobody could answer the question. From that point on, it changed my mind because I realized I no longer want to be a pawn. I don't want to be a follower. I don't want to be that. I want to be a leader in my own life. I want to be the king of my own life, the king of this castle right here. And I'll say things to purposely piss you off. But at the end of the day, like I said, I could care less how you feel because I'm only speaking my truth. That's it. I'm speaking my damn truth. You know what I'm saying? And when you speak your truth, then we should be able to collectively come together and, and, and agree. Don't try to convince me on what I should think or what I should believe. Don't try to tell me that, oh, you're going to go to hell because you did this. No, you're going to go to hell because you just judged me. Oh, you, you, man, you shouldn't be doing that because that goes against, goes against what? What the hell are you talking about? Guys. The world is changing. There's a war coming. There's a lot more things that's gonna take place. Start getting your shit together. Start getting your weapons together. 
Start developing your, your combative skills. Start, to start developing your spiritual skills. Start getting your mind in the right place. Start getting your money right. Start learning about survival because I need to do that. I need to start learning more about survival. Understand your environment, understand your surroundings, and don't become a freaking pawn in this world because they want us, they want us going crazy. I promise you. Pay attention to everything that you're seeing. My eyes are open wide. My eyes have been open since 1990. All right? There's a whole lot of things that took place. And I can tell you a whole lot more. I, but but I'm not going to do that. You got to research it. Research AIDS. Research the, the world trade. Research the death of Biggie, Tupac. Research the death of Whitney Houston. Research Illuminati. Research all of these things. Research the, the, the virus that took out the whole damn world. Research that. Research China. Research the government right now, the government that you're in right now, research all the stuff that they're talking about, that they're going to do this, they're going to do that, when they become this and when they become that. They're all the same. Trump, Kamala, Biden, Obama, Clinton, uh, all of them, Bush, they're all the same. They're all a part of the same Ponzi scheme, okay? But we choose who we choose. I'm not going to fight nobody. All right, anyway, man, my spirit felt like giving y'all this, 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 this quick um, talk. I'm actually in um, Ohio right now. And I'm gonna head out to uh, Michigan again, and then I'm gonna do some more stuff, and then head home. You see what I'm saying? So, yo, I love y'all. Keep your keep your talk real. We need men back in the planet. We need men back on the freaking planet. We don't need we don't need more more gay men. We need men. I'm talking about men who will handle their shit. Men who's about their life and about their business, taking care of their wives, their children taking care of their home, doing what needs to be done, becoming a backbone. I don't care if you're black, if you're white, you're Puerto Rican, you're Chinese, you're Dominican, you, you're freaking, I don't care what the hell you are. We need more men being men. We need stronger men. Y'all walking around looking sloppy and fat and out of shape. Nah, no more of that. Get your stuff together. Get your mental together. Get your emotions together. Get your money together. Get your spirit together. Get, your, get, get, get everything in order. And stop allowing the media to take your ass out of here. We don't need no more of that. Type it in the comments. Let me know. No more of that. Be true to who you are, bro. Ain't nothing better than that freedom. When you free, nobody or nothing can lock you down. Zero. All right? I'm out. Let's get these miles. Let's get this money. Let's get this muscle. And I know I pissed off some of y'all when I said certain things. But it is what it is. Peace.